going to talk to you about a really cool book called A Banquet for Hungry Ghosts. This is a ghost story book, but it is also filled with recipes. A little note from the author, who is Ying Chang Compostine. She wrote this book because as a child growing up in Mao's Cultural Revolution in China, she was often hungry and without food for long periods of time. She became fascinated with food and she's written cookbooks and other storybooks and she decided to put them both together, her love of stories and her love of cooking into A Banquet for Hungry Ghosts. If you like ghost stories and Chinese food, this is the book for you. You'll read about a story about steamed dumplings, which is about the construction of the Great Wall of China and how the workers were so hungry and they were happy to have a cafe nearby that somehow never ran out of food. Just what was in Chef Mu's dumplings? Find out. Another really great story is called Beef Stew, where we come across a young teenage boy who has not been allowed to go to college and the only prized possession he has is his iPod. Well, one day at work, he's not paying attention and his boss gets mad and throws his iPod into a bucket of guts, ruining the iPod and making the young teenage boy very angry, so angry that in a flash, he swings his cleaver and hits his boss right in the neck. Hmm beef stew tonight. Finally, one of the things I want to show you is the recipes in this book. After every ghost story, you've got recipes. We have appetizers, entrees, and desserts with classic Chinese foods like steamed dumplings, tofu with chili garlic sauce, and jasmine almond cookies. A banquet for hungry ghosts. Get it for someone you like who likes ghost stories or tell someone about it who likes cooking. It's a great time to read a book with your friends or your family and maybe cook a little snack on the side to enjoy after the stories. This is Rebecca signing off. Thanks for watching my book.